Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Number of ship holders drops dramatically, and James K. Filon expects one big ruling in the Ripple case soon. That's really all the focus that we want to discuss in this article today. So we're going to just scroll down again, guys. Always be safe for yourself and those around you. Don't pay attention to the screen if you're driving or working. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. You can view the screen another time. So on a recent tweet by James K. Filon, a U.S. lawyer who is closely following the XRP case, has shared his thoughts on the ongoing Ripple SEC lawsuit. Instead of creating a big threat, he attached a document listing the case's pending issues. And if you didn't see that, you might want to check it out on Twitter. And again, or click the link in the description below as we provide the link uh, you know, for every article that we discuss. And you can just click the link right there, the highlighted James K. Filon. So according to Filon, one should not expect a separate ruling on the aforementioned issues. He believes that District Judge Torres will rule on the matters concurrently and in one big written ruling. Thus, he predicts will happen by March 31st of 2023. And again, if so, that would align with, you know, the ISO 20.022 being fully implemented by April. So hopefully there's not a delay and we at least get something going. It'd be very disappointing if so. 80 million XRP moved in three suspicious transactions and here is why. There were large transactions occurring on the network as selling pressure ascended. Millions of XRP were being moved on the market after a series of disturbing news about the Ripple trial against the SEC and while the nature of the aforementioned Transaction remains unclear. The distribution of a large sum in three transactions could hide something from network sleuths. The first transaction occurred on the network at 1.25.11 a.m. on UTC on Friday, December 2nd, and has been likely an inner transaction on the Bitso exchange. And then a few seconds before the aforementioned transaction occurred, they saw 28 million funds transferred from an unknown wallet to the centralized exchange. Center doesn't seem to be tied to bid so, which means almost 30 million XRP might end up on the market, causing a significant spike in selling pressure on XRP. And the third transaction appeared five minutes later and moved around 2 million from the initial 30 million transfer, suggesting that the exchange is redistributing a large deposit among its own hot wallets. Also, two speculations mount on Coinbase's move to remove XRP from its wallet amid Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. Native uh, tokens of Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Classic, XRP, uh, and Stellar will no longer be available on the Coinbase wallet. Also, to the um, speaking of XLM or Stellar, we're going to discuss that really quick. Uh, we know Ukraine launched its CBDC uh, on Stellar Lumens XLM. And I guess the cons question it was, um, you know, the... Uh, yeah, basically how the CBDC will be built on Stellar. And then um, let's just state, you know, development and implementation of the e Hrvania can be the next step in the evolution of Ukraine's payment infrastructure. It will contribute to the digitalization of the economy, further spread of non-cash settlements, reduce their value, increase their level of transparency, and increase confidence in the national currency as a whole. Um, so the thing here was the National Bank of Ukraine, the NBU, released its update or having released this as the update, the central bank digital currency, CBDC, amid its ongoing war with Russia. They were stating that the focus will not be so much on Stellar, but the e Hrvania, but the, um, the, you know, stating new use cases for the digital cash. Ukraine um, has not altered its commitment to work with the Stellar blockchain and basically uh, it's on the you know two thumbs up the green light to complete its CBDC built on Stellar 
and that's where they're discussing also um, using it as like the uh, you know the stable coin as well so that's where this connects into stellar lumens gets its first stable coin from Brazil with uh, Mercado Bitcoin fostering the ecosystem growth the stellar community will significantly benefit from the MBRL stablecoin by Mercado Bitcoin through increased on-chain activity. Because uh, one thing, even as they state in the article, you know, to use Stellar blockchain, you it's required that you use XLM uh, and hold that for payments as well. So that's very exciting. Um, and I want to state a quick point made by the CEO of MB stating his goal or our goal is to accelerate the enormous potential for the adoption of blockchain applications in Brazil developing solutions that empower our customers daily transactions so again guys you you know so many things are happening so fast um, we're just basically all sitting here holding waiting for the Ripple versus SEC case to be over and see when they plan on uh, moving forward because once they do, um, it will be significant and the price will begin matching its value and investors will be rewarded for their patience. But again, guys, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. And as always, before we go, I want to leave you with a final thought. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Much love and we will catch you in the next one.